Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today we're doing some thrift shopping at Salvation Army. Thought I'd mix it up a little bit. I do like to visit this one every once in a while. The first thing I found was this adorable little lantern. It was missing the top. I was trying to see if that hurricane, I think is what they're called, would go to the top of it, but I don't think it was a match. I also found these porcelain candlestick holders. They're West Germany. And one unfortunately was cracked down the back of it, so I wasn't sure what to do with that. They were kind of neat. It would have been a good thing to pick up for reselling. They had the most adorable tins here. They did have candles inside of it, so that's why it was in the candle section. But I'm a sucker for vintage tins, especially if they're cutesy like this. This was made in Hong Kong, put out by Jasco. Just an overall adorable scene on it. They were asking 99 cents for that. And then behind it, this one was really neat. It had the fruit of the spirits all around it there. So you had the fruit images, and then you have love, kindness, goodness, joy, peace, faithfulness, patience, gentleness, <laughs> self-control, all that. And that was also a vintage Hong Kong. So those are kind of neat to see. Now, I love the idea of using these votive holders and putting them inside of these brass candlesticks like this. And I especially love those two colors. You guys know I love the 1970s earth tones. And so I thought those were pretty great with the amber and green glass there. Today's video is actually part of a collaboration hosted by my friend Nicole Northgarden. We are doing a thrift shop hop with some other lovely ladies. Be sure to check my description for the link to the next channel's video. In behind those were the most amazing glass candle holders in this gorgeous chocolate brown. They seem to be hand painted. I'm not sure if they came that way or if someone went ahead and painted those after the fact. Are you even thrifting if you don't find a dead bug inside though? <laughs> it seems like I find one at least every thrifting trip, so not a big deal. I can melt that down, scrape it out. The vessels of the candle are really gorgeous. Definitely a nice addition to fall. This one has the pumpkin and like the little farmhouse and the corn stalks and everything. I don't normally spend this much time in the candle section, but as you can see, they had the shelves pretty packed and I felt like I was finding some decent stuff, so I wanted to continue. So I was scanning the shelves, kind of looking for a fairy lamp, honestly. I spied this set of candlesticks here. I think the hand-painted floral was trying to be a lupine, if I am not mistaken, so I thought those are very pretty. This is probably one of my most exciting finds of the day. This was only $2.99 for this vintage Japan Labeco pottery piece. Adore the color. I love the looks of this. almost kind of resembles the fat lava kind of pottery from West Germany, just the way the glaze is. Absolutely adore that. Of course, loving 1970s design, anything with butterflies on it usually grabs my attention, so I wanted to check out that little dish there. I like looking at these little Hummel-esque figurines. Unfortunately, a lot of times when I see them, they've been re-glued or they're missing a hand or something. But these ones with the little geese on it, I adored. And I really like the colors. It was, you know, the 1970s colors, of course. They're only asking $3.99 for it, but it had been re-glued in a few places, so I decided to pass. So this here is probably a late 70s, early 80s trinket dish. It had the little daisies on both sides there, as well as the cover. It was one large daisy, very adorable, in good shape as well. I was hitting the jackpot today finding the colors I like. This is a vintage California pottery soup tureen. They were asking a decent price for it, but this was obviously never used. So I was really pondering on this. $24.99 they're asking. It even had the original soup ladle inside and the bottom base dish for if it dripped and stuff and had some florals on that as well. It was just so stunning. That one was going to be a hard one to pass up. You guys have to wait and see at the end if I ended up getting that or not. They had these large rooster chalkware pieces. This one did have a little boo-boo on the side bottom, which is typical of the vintage chalkware. You're going to usually see the boo-boos in it. 
and it wasn't really in bad shape considering it's a pretty large set and that was the most significant damage I saw to the both of them. This one was in near perfect condition as well. It even had the hanger still intact on the back. They have this really nice set of vintage canisters on the bottom. I like that they're clear glass. Those are the ones I typically like to store my stuff in mason jars, honestly. So I thought these are really fun. They had the sugar, coffee, and the flour. You guys know I have an obsession with trivets, so I had to check these out. I actually really adore the name trivets, so I wanted to see what the names were on them. We had a Connie, and then the other one was, what was it? Oh, I can't see. <laughs> it is Janet. So I'd be interested. Do I have any Connie or Janet that are subscribed watching my video? They're only asking $3.99. It was a little weird that Janet's tile was kind of crooked off to the side. Don't usually see it going that way. So the main reason I actually went to the thrift store today is I was looking for some vintage stoneware Japan plates. I want to do a gallery wall with stone plates in my dining room. And I have some, but I was looking for a few more designs. I kind of want it to be a larger gallery wall. So I was hoping I would find some here. If you're unsure of the plates I'm talking about and are curious, you can head over and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I did a little post recently on that so you can see the ones that I do already have just to give it an idea. And this plate was really stunning. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but it did have my colors. So maybe I should have went ahead and picked that up and just gave my gallery wall just a little bit of a different look. I'm pointing at the plate stack trying to show you I think I found what I was looking for and it was the stoneware, Japan stoneware I was looking for except it didn't have florals. I found it to be kind of boring for just a wall decor. I wanted something with more of a picture so I decided to pass on that. I see these all the time with various people's names on it and that's Connie again so that obviously came from Connie's kitchen that had that trivet, right? <laughs> That one was really gorgeous as well. There's always so many different beautiful one-off plates that don't have any matches at the thrift store and people usually pass them up. But if you like the idea of a plate wall, it's an excellent way to, you know, kind of decorate a wall without having to do pictures all the time. It gives you kind of a little bit of more dimensional look. So, you know, just keep that in mind. It might be something you want to try if you find a lot of pretty plates out there and kind of piece them together in a creative way. So this is exactly what I was looking for, except for this was the larger dinner plate. And I really am trying to just get the more salad plate uh, size because they are so heavy being stoneware and I'm trying to not have them fall off the wall. I'm going to do my best to secure them, but I just feel like I'll have a better shake at it if I get the smaller ones. There was some chips on some of these as well. This pattern was called Karen, which is kind of interesting. Very pretty, definitely in my colors, but I was just a little nervous about putting the larger size plates on my wall. Every time I see these drip brown falls graph mugs, I want to drink cocoa immediately and head to a cabin in the mountain. <laughs> That's just what they remind me of. How stunning is this vintage creamer? This is a stoneware piece as well from Japan. I love the brown florals on it. Such a great piece. They had some more Falls Graph down on this shelf. They also had some brown top stoneware, which I enjoy collecting. This is a little creamer and sugar with a lid. They had a really fantastic price on it as well. And yeah, I just love that collection. So those are a pretty great find. So these weren't the exact brand I was looking for. But they are my colors. I love the design to them. I unfortunately had to purchase the entire stack if I wanted them, and they were $4.99 for all of them. But it's such a neat design, it really is the look I'm going for. So I think, you know, I might just be willing to buy those. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get into the haul of everything I picked up today. Most of this 
is items that I'm keeping for myself. There are a few things I picked up to resell. I am a part-time reseller. I'm doing it less and less now, but every once in a while I'm still seeing stuff to pick up to resell, so I will. So let's go ahead and start with the things I got for myself. The first is this brown top stoneware set with the creamer and the sugar here. I'm actually planning to use this for toothpicks. I don't really need a cream and sugar, but I just really like this and this could be handy for like a little utensil holder or something for like little stirrers or something, I think. So I might do that next to the coffee station so we have something to stir with. I really like this. I've collected brown top stoneware for several years, long before my YouTube journey. So always enjoy seeing that when I do find it. So those were 99 cents each. I also picked up this Japan stoneware creamer. I couldn't resist it. I was in awe of the brown florals here. You don't see that too often. They only had this priced at 99 cents and it just says design for stoneware. It's a Indian summer Japan creamer. We just had an Indian summer here in my state. It's been a particularly warm October and I've been enjoying it. No bugs, but you still get the benefits of the beautiful fall foliage and it's a nice, you know, sunny, warm weather. So it's been nice. And like I told you guys, I was pretty excited to come across this Lebeko pottery piece. This was made in Japan and I just adore the colors. It has the nice kind of avocado green of the 70s there with a little bit of maybe like a robin's egg blue. They were only asking $2.99 for this vase here. It's in great shape. It's a nice cute size as well. I did end up purchasing these so I could use one on my plate gallery wall that I will be doing soon in my dining room. I really love the design to it. I'm looking for browns and oranges and yellows and things like that, something very 1970s. I was particularly looking for florals. There's technically a flower at the center, so I guess it still goes with my theme, even though these are not the stoneware that I was looking for. Um, but they were $4.99, I figured, you know, I'd probably pay that much for one piece of decor, so I figured it'd be okay and I'll find some other use for the others or try to resell them or something, but it was too pretty to pass up. Now, I thought I actually didn't pick this up, but I guess I decided to go ahead and get it because it was only 49 cents and it's still a very nice stoneware plate I could use just to serve food on, so it's likely why I grabbed it, but I really did think I put it back because I was mainly just looking for the floral you know, design at the center, but at 49 cents, you can't, you can't be too mad about that. This is Country Manor pattern made in Japan is stoneware, like I said, and this was put out by Mikasa. I know you guys have been dying to know if I picked up the soup tureen or not at about 25 bucks. I was definitely hesitant because when I go to a thrift store, I'm not looking to spend that much on one item usually, but I mean, when it's in near perfect condition and it's something you don't have, it's in your ideal colors, you probably want to pick it up, right? <laughs> so I did snag it, $24.99. Give you a close up of the lid so you can see the floral design. Like I said, it's brand new. Got the nice big soup ladle there, immaculate condition. And you got this piece. You know, it's, it's a good size too. Definitely gonna hold enough soup for my family of four. There was a couple, mainly just one. There's one little scratch in the white paint there, but it's not too serious. And then you have the bottom plate. I mean, they even put the bubble wrap so it didn't scratch. So, I mean, this was pretty well taken care of. The sticker. So here's the drip plate and then it is marked on the bottom California Originals USA. So here's a California pottery piece likely from the 1970s. It was probably a gift that some wife received at Christmas and she just never used it. Didn't like soup maybe <laughs> but I love soup and I look forward to using this this fall and winter season. 
Let me know down in the comments what is your favorite soup to make. So the last thing I picked up for myself are some glass canisters. Now I, I'm not really decorating in blue too much, but I don't really mind it in small amounts. As you guys know, I do like the Blue Bow Goose and I will pick that up quite often. But this is a 1990, actually was helpful and says it right here. It says AHC, which would be Anchor Hawking Company. And so it's made in the USA, marked on the bottom there. And the seals on these are really fantastic. That's kind of what sold, sold me on them as I break it, right? <laughs> but yeah, they're like solid, like airtight. So for a vintage canister, usually you have to replace the seals and I think that's pretty fantastic. Gotta clean them up obviously, but they did have the flour, the sugar, and then the coffee as well. So I was really happy to find that. Now get this, the prices were kind of wonka do at this Salvation Army. Usually I find really cheap prices and they're kind of all over the place today. So this was $24.99 and it was in the regular section too. It wasn't in the area where they usually keep the vintage stuff that they kind of like hand pick. And then you got all three of these for $5.99 for the set of three. <laughs> so you know, I ain't mad at it, but it's kind of interesting how the prices, you know, were with everything. So I almost forgot these, I don't know how, but I was trying to clean them out so they are separate from the others because the candles had some bugs <laughs> inside of it. I do need to figure out how to melt the wax out. If you guys have any good tips on how to remove wax from this, I'd like to put a new candle inside of it. But these are absolutely amazing. I love the size to them here. And they are hand painted. I don't know if they came that way or if someone had gone ahead and done that themselves that you know, had bought these beautiful brown glass vases. But this one here looks so well done. I mean, not to say there's not an artist that talented, but I mean, it, this seems like they probably came this way, but I've never seen them before. That's what the bottoms look like. So you can see they're pretty heavy duty glass, definitely a vintage type of a glass. And I absolutely adore them. So I had to share with you that I picked those up and they're only $1.99 a piece. So a fantastic deal there. Definitely great for the fall season. This one's definitely very fall, but this one I feel like I could keep out year round. So, very excited about those. So this next item is something I'm sort of on the fence about whether I'll keep or resell. It is something that goes with my aesthetic of the 1970s, but it's also something I'm not sure if I need. I have a lot of little trinket dishes, so I might end up reselling it, but it was just too cute to leave behind. It had this beautiful daisy lid to it, as well as the daisies around both sides. And they were only asking $1.99. It was made in Taiwan, so probably around the you know late 70s, early 80s. And there is a smidge of a chip there. It's more of like a, the glaze that has come off. So it's not too major, but it's really adorable and I could not pass that up. Two more things that might end up being resold, but it's something I definitely could put in my own decor as well because I enjoy these types of things is these candle tins. There are candles inside. I don't believe they were ever used. Maybe lit once. <laughs> There's like a black fly that's driving me insane. Have the black flies been crazy in your area this year, this fall? I've never seen them this bad before, but yeah, constantly. <laughs> but we'll try to ignore that guy. And yeah, I thought these are super cute. So like I told you guys, this has the Fruit of the Spirits on it and beautiful decor. You guys know I like to collect the fruit decor, so this was definitely up my alley. And you know, as a Christian, I definitely enjoy it for that purpose as well. Only 99 cents for that guy. I love the little size to it. And then this one is just this adorable little girl. It definitely looks like a 1970s character to me. The big hat, kind of like Holly Hobby. And just all the florals, definitely very spring. And yeah, 99 cents for that too. They're both made in Hong Kong. So adorable. <laughs> now for the last few items, I am definitely reselling. This one, it had a partner there, but unfortunately it was very cracked on the back. 
and they were still asking this is 99 cents so i guess it was probably only 99 cents but i didn't feel like playing a dollar for a broken <laughs> guy just for a match um i figured it'd be just as easy to resell one you don't really need both and it's just super adorable it has a little bird but it's also a candlestick holder or a single toothbrush holder maybe as well very pretty a lot of people are liking the blue and white pottery right now. It's pairing well with that grand millennial design that a lot of people are enjoying. This is a Bavaria Germany piece as well. I was like picking up German pottery. So that was pretty cool. These seem to be great quality. Definitely need to clean them up first because they've, you know, been in storage probably. But they even have like a metal ring here as well. They got some weight to them and they are signed on the bottom can't make up the signature I will try to look into this but they're very a very nice pottery uh she had $2.99 a piece on these again I feel like selling well as a set right so it should have been $2.99 for the set but I'm pretty sure she charged me $2.99 a piece and so I don't know the prices were wonka do like I said but you know I think they're really nice and I think I can make a little profit off of them so someone will definitely enjoy these and then there were these gorgeous chalkware roosters. They have the hooks on the back and they're in pretty phenomenal condition for chalkware. Very minor damage, like a small little chip at the side there. And the biggest one was on this one, I believe, which I think I showed you guys already, but you know, it's just a little one there. And honestly, since it's black, it's gonna be easy to just fill that in. You won't even notice it. So not major at all. Like these had $5.99 a piece on them. It didn't say as a set, but again, I would consider those a set, right? And so I did go up and ask her because I was just confused, kept seeing things that were marked independently, but they were a set. And she said they were supposed to be $5.99 each, but they had been there a while. So she ended up giving them to me for $8. And, you know, given the size to it and the condition, I figured $8 was still a pretty good deal and I could stand to make a decent profit so I was happy to pick them up. That is going to do it for my thrift haul today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would super appreciate that. You can join the Nesting Haven family and become a nester and like I said at the beginning this is a collaboration hosted by my friend Nicole Northgarden and I am going to link the next video that you can go to to the hop down in the description below. So be sure to click that and check out the next video and enjoy the thrift top and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.